Hey everybody, welcome back to More Life with Courtney. Today is going to be a day about goals, about not letting things that do not matter to you, that do not um, put food on your table, that does not put clothes on your back or a roof over your head, not letting those things interfere with what you have planned for you, yourself, and your family. So this past New Year's, um, Brandon and I visited one of my friends slash sisters in Atlanta and we did a vision board and I wanted to actually go over that vision board with you all so I could uh, take an assessment of things that I have accomplished since January and things that I still need to accomplish but that vision board is in the storage and I can't find it and I'm not going to wreck my brain over it. I hope my friend slash sister is not mad at me. Those goals are still something that I um, aspire to, but I can't find the board, so I can't really go over it. So I guess that's why some things are on pause right now. But the plan is today to make a, I guess you can say a six month vision board for uh, things that I would like to accomplish or things that I see myself doing for the next six months and then after I find the year 2021 vision board then I can do an assessment of that at the end of the year so six months from now is what month is it May so June July August September October November so perfect so six months from now is November and then once I can put a hand on the vision board that I made in January December will be the round year that I can take an assessment of what all has um, happened since January and what all things that I need to continue to work towards to accomplish so today as I said I will be doing a vision board a six month vision board so I have my board and I have some magazines I don't know when I subscribed to essence but I must have got some type of subscription somehow so I got some essence magazines and I have a few wedding magazines also so um, and wedding is definitely something that is still uh, relevant since we have not yet had our um, dream wedding dream ceremony yet but the what has happened is what matters most and we're actually happy that it happened the way it did but anyway oh I also got my glue sticks and scissors so um, I'll be chit chatting with you all and showing you some things that I feel like um, apply to my life things that I would like to accomplish I'm doing a lot of new things a lot of working pieces in my mind a lot of creativity I you guys there's so much going on in my life I can actually feel my brain working like it's crazy I can feel the thoughts going through my brain so I have a um, I have a what is it a planner <laughs> I have a planner that plans out my thoughts and this vision board I guess you can say will put those thoughts into pictures and I can have a visual um, planner also I guess that's what you can call it so yes um, I'm gonna start with this Essence magazine with Eddie Murphy and his daughter on it um, I think they were highlighting coming to America in this magazine but anyway, so yes, that's what I'll be doing today. Hopefully this um, video can encourage others to think about things that you would like to accomplish in life, think about things that you want to accomplish for the next month, six months, whatever it is. Um, no matter what type of um, lifestyle that you live, no matter what type of goals you have, we all can attain what we put our mind to. Um, oh, it's funny, this girl actually has the same hairstyle that I do. <laughs> how ironic but anyway as I was saying I hope this inspires and encourages you all um, to do what you feel do what put your mind to it if you want it for yourself there's so many resources out here nowadays I mean like we're in the world of information and technology and anything can happen you can make it happen for yourself you just gotta believe it for yourself so 
that's what I'm going by nowadays. Um, let's see. Oh, also I went to uh, Starbucks earlier, so I'm still sipping on my frat. Um, I see make sure there's nothing on the bag that I would like to use also but I see the word style it's hard to put my style um, forward right now because things are all over the place we are all over the place we still um, have not secured a house or a neighborhood at the moment because as I'm sure everyone knows nowadays the housing market is a mess a hot mess and then, oh, I didn't even give y'all um, an update. So, the plan to have moved into an apartment until we secure our home and it's built and moved is also either non-existent now or on pause because um, the leasing office that takes over all of Charles County, County um, has definitely uh, false advertised their available apartment units. So basically, everything that was on that website, I went through that whole thing about um, the search. Couldn't even really do an apartment search because of COVID. And then I did the whole thing about going through all the different um, units that's null and void because their information was not updated. So basically, they don't have any new apartment or available apartments, two bedrooms or three bedrooms available until June 19th. And then the one that is available is uh, not even one that's in our, well, my or our preferred neighborhood, but it is not, I mean, it's a 15 month lease. Who's trying to stay in an apartment for 15 months? We live in homes out here, no apartments. No offense to anybody who does, but we got a family. We got to have a home to live in. So that is what it is. Um, oh, I done went all over the place. Anyway, about style. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to give y'all updates and talk about the goals. Style. So basically, um, it's hard for me to focus on my style right now because we have things all over the place. We have clothes and storage, clothes here, clothes there. But I do, that's something I do want to focus on or whatever. Um, I want to improve my style. I want to. Uh, focus on buying things that are of good quality and that last long and I'm not I, I know a lot of people think that um, style is something that anybody can do but one thing I can say is just because it has a fancy or an expensive name tag on it does not mean that it looks good or that it is in style that's just me but I don't want anybody to be mistaken to think that just because something is expensive, that means it is stylish, because that is not the case. A lot of people try to be unique, and everything unique is not always great. But anyway, um, I see another word in here, culture. Um, I want to embrace more of my culture, not that I'm not aware of it, now but as you all know i'm doing stepmom sundays and i want to be a positive um light and insight for women of color women that look like me um who may not have a resource to um to look towards or to uh gain knowledge or encouragement from because there's not a lot of women of color who speak on that so but that's one way that I can um, consider culture. Found another word, savings. We all uh, need to save. I'm going to say it like just like that. I'm not going to be nice or sugarcoat about it because you never know what's going to happen. Just like COVID happened to us, a lot of people lost their jobs and you just don't, you just never know what's going to happen. So it's always good to save so you can have a nest egg, you can have 
money for your future, money for your children if you have any or if you wish to have any. It's always good to have something that um, you can fall back on for any type of emergency purposes. You never know what could happen. So it's always good to save. And plus, we're, you know, embarking on a new journey. We're, um, we have been saving and we still need to continue to save for this house, to furnish the house. Um, just to live the life that we want, to continue to travel, and it's just necessary. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, you guys. Guess who's calling? The next thing that I found in this magazine, it says Literary Leaps. So some of you all may know I am currently in a book club, but I would like to read more books that's not, I guess in addition to the books that we read in book club, because sometimes, you know, with everyone's busy lives, we may not meet as often as we would like to. So I don't want to just depend on the books that we read in book club. I want to increase my book intake to uh, more than what's read during our book club meetings. So that's something that I'm going to try to do for the next six months also. Not that I have a whole lot of spare time, <laughs> but that is the goal. Found something else imaginations at work you guys this life that I've been living for the past I guess since March when I first started this YouTube actually no I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say it started since YouTube because I kind of delved into my creativity a little bit more in addition to photography last year when I started to um, do a different type of design or layout on my Instagram page um, I've always been a visual person. I've always um, liked how things turned out and to try to figure out how to get things to look the way I want them to look and everything. And I will say, embarking on this YouTube journey, blogging, vlogging, trying to become an influencer and utilizing Instagram and all types of social media in order to get things, get information out, receive information and to help others. Um, I'm definitely able to tap into my imagination like I feel like it's something that I have been needing to do for the longest I just didn't know how to do it or what to do or you know but it's so much it's so many things out there nowadays where it gives you a lot of um, encouragement um, I was talking to Brandon the other day and he was saying how you know when we were younger we weren't really able to do a lot of things a lot so many people nowadays are starting new jobs starting their own jobs and starting their own you know businesses and everything and I was telling him you know back then we didn't have all this social media or knowledge or being able to see so many people able to do these things so like it's like nowadays when we see things on social media it encourages us and influences us to do what we've always wanted to do like it's like if, if so and so can do it, I can do it too. And nowadays, that is exactly what we need to make things happen. So I'm glad to now put my imagination to work. This speaks for itself hustle and grow hustle make things happen make things work for you and continue to grow in the process it is what it is oh yeah here's another one definitely something that I would like to increase on sorry you guys I'm getting another phone call from the hubs <laughs>
sorry again you guys anyway so what i was able to find just now was the plant parenthood guide so as you all know i'm a plant mom and i actually the the um my interest in becoming or in, my interest in plants came very randomly one of my co-workers let me um she gave me three little pieces of her plant one time like maybe this might be like two or three it might have been three years ago now since we just lost a whole year for covid but um basically you know what i just realized i read something i don't know if i can keep saying something about the co <laughs> Because evidently YouTube does not like that. They don't they don't like people saying stuff about the CO. So I don't I hope it doesn't mess anything up with my video. But anyway, as I was saying, um uh she let me have a piece of her, three pieces of her plant, and I started to root it. I basically put the plant in water so it can um, propagate and grow roots. And it went from three little stems with leaves to a whole big plant i actually had the plant here at home because when we we had to take some stuff down at work to get uh um, painting and cleaning everything done so i brought all of my plants from work home but ever since i saw how that plant thrived i have been hooked on plants people have given me pieces from their plants at home and brought it to me and i have purchased my own now so i want to increase my um plant family so the plant parenthood guide here's another word that i um have found <clears throat> healthy so I'm definitely or I have definitely changed my diet over the past year um, last year when the CO happened I was able to discover Tabitha Brown and um, she influenced me or encouraged me to go vegan so I tried being vegan for I would, the, the plan was to be for six months, but it only ended up being two months. But I still um, incorporate plant-based meals into my diet on a regular basis now. However, from July until now, um, we have been living a pescatarian lifestyle or with a, in a, having a pescatarian diet. So the only meat that we eat is seafood. Other than that, we're eating vegetables, fruits, um, and if we are eating any type of meat, we uh, are eating like Beyond Meat. Uh, we just found this, found out this new brand called Everything Legendary or something like that. We've done um, Light Life, and we eat a lot of black bean burgers and veggie burgers. But other than that, you know, we're eating seafood. And I definitely can say that changing up my diet has helped me tremendously. Not that I have had any type of skin issues, but I will say my skin. Um, is consistently clear uh, usually I would always have like some type of bump that would pop up on my chin area when it's time for my cycle to come on but I don't have those issues anymore so I'm sure it has something to do with the diet and I've also heard that um, cramps during your menstrual cycle is um, they now I've always had issues with cramps but I will say that they aren't as strong and I've heard that your diet influences that also so if you don't eat too many crazy things or whatever your cramps won't be as painful um, so anyway I just want to continue like I said I've already started I want to continue to live a healthy lifestyle um, I have increased my physical activity as you all know I've started you know my whole um, get more fit uh, journey and um, I'm working out more um, eating differently um, I, I say that now I'm drinking this cap this frap but I mean every every now and then you know it's nothing wrong with treating yourself but I'm not 
overindulging. Like I have probably haven't had one of those in about two months now, maybe maybe a month and a half. But I've definitely changed my eating habits, my physical activity, and I feel great. Like um, I handle things a lot better like normally i'm an emo emotional eater i love i'm not really a candy or a sweets person my sweets is normally fruit but i love pasta and um that's something that i have now found different alternatives i do zucchini noodles i've done the chickpea pasta um, black bean pasta there's so many different options out nowadays i can still enjoy the meals that i normally like but i enjoy them in a more healthier way so I'm greatly appreciative and it's a lifestyle change. It's not a trend. This is something that I plan on doing for the rest of my life. When I, um, when we have children, I will um, instill this into their life and influence and encourage them to make healthy food choices and life changes as well or choices as well. Now, um, I found something else one in this one of these uh, wedding magazines. I did get a chance to experience this, of course, but hopefully, and I don't think I'll, any of these will happen within the next six months, but I still want to put it on my um, vision board. But I want to be able to experience going to bridal expos. I want to get the full experience of being a bride. And so hopefully by the time everything is all over, next spring, I think that's normally when they happen, I will be able to experience that. So I'm gonna put a bridal expo on my uh, vision board. Hopefully I can be able to participate this time and get the full experience of it all. All right, you guys, so I'm going to continue to look for more um, things to put on my vision board. And I will be back uh, for the when it's time to place them. Um, so see you in a few. Okay, everybody, I have finally finished, and I must say I am proud of it. Um, I was able to find a lot of things that will motivate me and keep me moving forward. So I'm going to show you a little brief synopsis of it all. So hopefully I can hold it. All right, so up here at the top, watch me work. That's in all aspects of life, working out, doing um, nine to five work, or doing social media work. Um, I already spoke to you about the culture. Love at home, we are still on our home buying journey, but no matter where we are, when we are all together, it is called home, and we love each other, so it is what it is. Um, spoke to you about plants. Um, the Plants Parenthood Guide and I plan on continuing to take care of my plants and hopefully getting some new ones when we move. Um, hustle and Grow. Um, a camera for continuing my photography. Um, these beautiful women in the middle represent me continuing to uh, share good times and um, friendship with my uh, friends. Um, support is a verb so um, I definitely believe in that to support someone you actually have to take action and that is that could just be you know reposting something that they may put on social media or um, calling them and encouraging them to do whatever that it is that they want to do whatever it is that they need to do so support is a verb it means it's an action so do it support those who you care about um, of course, vacation, we all are missing that, and so I plan on doing some of that 
it may not be well, it won't be any international vacation but we definitely plan on having some domestic trips uh coming up um black creatives on instagram um i have definitely increased my presence on instagram and i um hope you all uh are already following me on instagram um you can see a lot more of my life that i may not put on youtube so you can get a, a bit more of an insight of who courtney is and my instagram is more life with courtney uh let's see i spoke to you all about the bridal expo i definitely want to take advantage of those when they are back in season imaginations at work so much goes into who i am you are definitely getting a lot of that insight now that i have um started this youtube channel and i uh able to share so many things in my mind with you all um let's see fragrance i want to increase the types of fragrances that i use i love a good smell good and I'm getting older, so it's time to um, mature in my fragrances. You know, we all used to have the Victoria's Secrets and Bath and Body Works and stuff. Then I, in college, I did get the Paris Hilton Can Can, which is still my favorite, I must say. But it's time to um, mature in my fragrances. So there are a few fragrances that I would like to, um, you know, look into and do some research and see how they smell. I've seen a few of them on other people's youtube channels and i want to see if they actually are my taste i don't want to just get a fragrance just because it is a certain name or a certain brand I, I actually want to make sure it smells good love lives as we all know the love of my life and it's going to continue to go brandon is um definitely my true definition of love and i appreciate everything that he does for me um I spoke to you about style black girl future over in the corner we as black women have to continue to motivate each other and um, basically live as an example for other women for young girls who are watching us um, other women who view us as an inspiration or some type of motivation and um, I definitely plan on continuing to be some type of influence to black girls and black women in the future uh let's see if you can see down here I have some sneakers i want to increase my sneaker game hopefully brandon can uh, buy me some sneakers <laughs> i'm not a huge sneaker person i normally wear like cute little flats or sandals but i wouldn't mind um adding more to my sneaker collection let's see these are a pair of pajamas. I want to increase my, or start, initiate, and then increase my um, pajamas for grown women. You know, normally I would wear some shorts and a t-shirt or something like that, but you know, it's time to grow up. So why not um, invest in some good adult pajamas? Everyone wants to manifest something great for their lives. I don't know if you can see, let me come on this side. Everyone wants to manifest something great for their lives, so I am no different. Literary leaps. Again, I want to uh, increase uh, the number of books that I read. I want to read more books that are not just included in my book club. Savings, I already spoke about that. Why I started a business. I want to focus more on my why. Um, I have started quite a few, not quite a few businesses, but a few businesses now and I want to focus on my why I did that. Not just about making money, but dig deep into why I decided to start certain businesses that I have, and you can actually get an idea of those businesses on my Instagram also. Um, also, I have started a logo services business, so that's something if you all need some logos for your businesses, for your brands, you can definitely reach out to me. Again, you can um, message me on um, my Instagram, More Life with Courtney, or you can go to courtofroses.com. All the way at the bottom of the page, there is a button to press for logo services, and I will be able to assist you. And hair, I think this is the last one. Hair, oh no, stress less. It's up here. It's the smallest one, but it is the biggest one that um, matters to me right now. 
try not to stress there's a lot of things going on a lot of things that we can't control as far as this housing situation and I'm trying not to stress and by me stressing less I can focus more on the things that I want to do and here I want to try to see if I can wear my natural hair again I've been uh, natural since uh, 2016 but I'm always wearing um, protective styles so one day hopefully within this next six months I can get the courage to wear my hair out and um, I guess you all can follow me on Instagram to see how that goes whenever the time comes but I believe that's it again I hope me uh, creating this vision board um, motivate someone out there encourage someone to reach for your goals don't let anything or anyone stop you and um, thank you all again for watching see you on the next video bye